just before we went on air, came on air, we got news of an astonishing poll of the Labour leadership election. Allegra has just arrived and right now she has some of the details. I mean, tell me. Right, so it looks like on first print, we knew that Jeremy Corbyn was doing quite well. Yep. It looks like from the Times' poll today with YouGov that Jeremy Corbyn on first print One poll. One, poll. one poll, but he's ahead. Our number crunches in the Newsnight office that me and you take very seriously. Yep. He's ahead by a ginormous amount that they, even they, take seriously. He looks like he's ahead. You've actually okay, got the, the figures. So basically on the first round uh, in the YouGov poll, and John McTernan is still with us, on the first round Jeremy Corbyn's got 43%, Andy Burnham 26%, ginormous. Yvette Cooper 20%, Liz Kendall, now the, 11%. the important thing to say about the vagaries of the Labour leadership poll is that everybody assumed that this perhaps could happen, but that what the shakedown would eventually be over the course of the, of the contest is that all the second and third preferences would eventually mean that Jeremy Corbyn came mm. second or third. What we're seeing this evening is that actually you have in the numbers. runoff. Yep. So the runoff here means that in the end, what you would have would be a race, obviously, between uh, Andy Corbyn, uh, sorry, Jeremy Corbyn, <laughs> Jeremy Corbyn, Andy Burnham, uh, and uh, Corbyn would be on 53% yeah. and uh, Andy Burnham now, on 47%. This latter figure, the actual eventual result, is scary for the Labour Party, mm. for some of the Labour people I've spoken to this evening, and no, John Montana will say this, because no one thought at the end of the day Jeremy Corbyn would come first. The number the Times newspaper has this morning, or this evening and tomorrow morning, has him ahead. Now, this latter, this last number is the margin of error. Yeah. So that's a bit squeaky. Yeah. The first number, which is first preference, it's not squeaky at all. No. He is ahead by a country. Yeah. Mile. Now, Labour people I've spoken to this evening say this is a necessary part of the process. Weeding it, Labour shaking it down. Labour people, Labour people need to focus. They need to look at these numbers and think, do we want him to lead our party? And they think over the fullness of time, remember this person is not elected till September, September. Labour activists will go, oh, actually, I'm not sure I do actually want so, him. So, thank but you very much I'm indeed. I'm not sure well, that's clear. Well, let's just put this to John. So this is a kind of, you know, YouGov doing a, a service to to sleepy Labour voters to wake up and or smell the it, coffee, though? or I mean, is it? Maybe I mean, many people who well, want to listen to the leader. Say, exactly. What does this say? This one says, single poll say? Line. The first thing it says is the moronic MPs <laughs> who nominated Jeremy Corbyn to have a debate it includes John Crudders. Need, need their heads yeah. felt. They need their heads well, felt. They should be ashamed of themselves. Well, hang on, felt. hang on. You can say that. But then what you might say, this is actually the morons. The morons, right? Uh, that's the first thing. The second, the second thing is. <laughs> but these I are actually. There are actually. You do accept there are Labour members and indeed people in the country that do support Jeremy Corbyn. I mean, it's not a chimera. Political, political parties are full of suicidally inclined activists. Okay. And clearly some of right. our members are suicidally inclined. The reality is the largest single group, and I think you have not seen the figures for Don't Knows, one of the largest groups I know from all, from all the campaigns, 20 percent is they one, one of the largest groups of members out there are Don't Knows who are thinking about the holiday, not about the election result. Uh, wait a minute. This, the, yeah. the, this though, um, these figures are disastrous for the Labour Party. There's no other way of describing it. Disastrous. And the consequence is that the other candidates for leadership uh, have to decide who is the ABC candidate, the anybody but Corbyn. <laughs> However, let's say they can't agree. Well, that would be a disaster. What you're suggesting either is that they will get together, they'll carve up shadow positions or whatever else, and they'll, they'll have one candidate even in the first run against Corbyn, or they'll do a slate. No, there should be a slate. There'll be no withdrawal from this. The election campaign has been a disaster from beginning to end. There's no debate. There's only one analysis, a failed Benite analysis from the 80s. The only opposing analysis yeah. is Liz's analysis. And whenever she puts forward an idea, it, the yeah. debate is closed down by Yvette and Andy. It's been the worst leadership campaign of many bad leadership well, campaigns I've seen in my, in my thank lifetime. Thank you, John. But just finishing with you, Allegra, I mean, John says, and in fact, you see, of course, this is not a long way off, it's to September. But as John said, we've got intervening holidays where people don't actually have their eye on the ball. And who is going to grasp this and shake it down the Corbynites or the others? <laughs> I think the momentum appears to have gone from Liz Kendall's mm -hmm. campaign mm -hmm. and she seemed to be the person who was the counterbalance to the Corbyn one. The other two are trying to scoop up the second and third preferences mm -hmm. and it seems to be a council for being very safe. So the problem is in the fullness of time it's basically shifted the Labour Party contest to the left. Do you think, like John, that nobody will drop out, or could you see Liz Kendall dropping out if there's another poll that put it like this? Or she's Liz in Kendall for the long is not a quitter. Liz Kendall's not she's a quitter. She's many things. She's not a quitter. So they're all in for the long haul. They're in for the long haul. The problem for Liz Kendall appears to be that she was running in a race, and the the, the landscape within the party has changed.
Thank you both very much indeed.